It's time, Ash, for the TMOF Wrestling. This is the most prestigious awards, these are. Oh, definitely. The TMOF Wrestling Pro Wrestling Roll-Up Awards of 2022. The categories will be as followed and in this order. We will have the Man of the Year. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily have to be a wrestler. Okay. It probably will be. But there's Man of the Year, Woman of the Year, Tag Team of the Year, Faction of the Year... We can add manager of the year in. No, because I can't think of any managers about them for him. There will be no manager of the year, but there will be promo of the year, show of the year, match of the year, and company of the year. Right. And I feel as though, based on the first hour, we probably have a good idea how that last one's going to go. Maybe. But we'll see, won't we? So we'll begin with man of the year, Ash, who... It's if you've just got one, go ahead for it. But if you had a few in mind, uh, there was only one person in mind for me, and I'm not the only one who said this. And it's got a lot of people doing, maybe not. Seth Rollins. I hundred percent see that. Yeah, he's had an incredible year. He really Wrestling has. Wise, promo wise, he's been amazing. For Probably me. even personal life as well. Yeah. You know, he's him and Becky are married. They've got a you know, beautiful baby girl. And he's had probably, arguably, one of the, the best years of his career. Yeah, even when he was uh, the champion for a lot of the 2018 time, 18, 19. Yeah, which really is a testament as well, when you consider that... Even, even Because like, of the like Roman holding both world titles in that company. Yeah. For, for Rollins to have one of the best years he's had. And this is a guy that was from S.H.I.E.L.D. from day one. This yeah. is a guy, like you said, 2018. He had all the stuff with Brock and... I don't know, yeah, I think he's, he's kind of... It just feels like he's had no, no bad moments. Like we talk about the Cody bits. Yeah. The beginning of the year with Roman at the Rumble when he comes up with the Shield music. Yeah. Uh, stuff with Kevin Owens. Every one of his rivalries has felt like they've yeah. mattered. The Riddle, the yeah. Crash, and Extreme Rules. Yeah. Having the bangers with um, Bobby Lashley. And... The stuff that he's got going on with Theory as well. Yeah. It, 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 he's definitely had. An awesome year, and he's he's gone between heel and face, and yeah, he's not tweening. Been, yeah, and, he's not been winning all the matches, but that doesn't matter to me. And but and, and that again, isn't it? That's a testament. Like Rollins actually, lo- Rollins probably lost more premium live event think, matches I this year think than he's won. In the whole of the year, he's lost the most matches, but he's been in like a match every week, so that's probably why. But again, but in terms of the on-screen presentation, he's still credible. Yeah, and that's it, isn't it? Like you don't need the fifty-fifty booking. Rollins has cemented his place, I think, as one of the top guys. It's unquestionable. He's, I think he's been there for a while. Yes. But this year definitely has cemented it. And it's 10 years since the Shield debut. Which is crazy to think. Yeah. Crazy to think. But again, you know, WWE, you kind of have to look at in two halves because you've got the, you know, SummerSlam was the real kind of like, this is it. Like, things are going to start changing now because of the Vince thing and Triple H taking over of creative and things. Um but, you know, we've really seen shifts and stuff. But Rollins was already doing really well. And I think, if anything, it's just that further proof that, like, yeah, Triple H really does see Rollins as, you know, the guy. The product would suffer without Rollins. So I can see him being uh, a contender for it. If I had to, if I had to, if I watched, like I said, if I watched Impact, I would probably say Josh Alexander because he's had, apparent from what I've been seeing, like, really good year. Um, the longest running, he's, I think he's now the longest running Impact champion of all time. He's he's Josh Alexander's had a hell of a year, and I think you know to to go through. I, I I've got mine. I, I know who mine's going to be, um, but you know, in terms of like, if we look at like the the people that are notable for the category for this very prestigious award, mm. um, yeah, Josh Alexander, I think easily is the standout from Impact. He really is carrying that company and he's doing a really, really good job of it. Um, I think over in AEW, for me personally, I think it's got to be Moxley. uh, If it was, yeah, if I go by company, Moxley would be my AEW one. Now, not because, and again, not because he's wrestler of the year. He's he's out of the men, man of the year, at least in, in AEW, contender for it. Just because, again, the interim stuff was bollocks. We've been through it, but... He was there. The guy wanted a break. The guy was, you know, but but he was there. The company felt like they needed to rely on Moxley and that he was the guy that they needed to rely on during all of this crap. And he did it. 
And I think that's a t- that's a testament. This was a guy that last year came out of rehab, mm. you know, and he's been trusted with with this really kind of you know shit task at a point where the company's at its lowest that it's been yet in its very short time span. Um, but you know, he did the absolute best he could with it. And and who else but Moxley really could it have been? Well, that's it. There's no one else. You know, so Moxley carried AEW on his back and he he's dragged it through the you know as absolutely best he can so he's absolutely a contender I, I i've got to say i think my my pick for man of the year has got to be sammy Zayn. that's fair that it's got fair. to be sammy Zayn. he's had a trim this has been i think what we said about rollins for you mm. completely agree because uh, it is one of his best years that he's ever had but i think this is the best year that Sami Zayn has had so far, at least within WWE, probably ever throughout his career, in terms of you know on a, on a big stage, he had one of the what what I think is one of his best matches ever at Mania. Definitely, and I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but <laughs> come on, like wrestling's supposed to be fun, and he was in there with guys who were not trained wrestlers. He was in there with Johnny Knoxville, not a trained wrestler, not even a young guy, no. right? But they pulled off this really. It had no right being as good as it was, but no. it was a really entertaining match that you can watch over and over again and you'll get enjoyment out of it. If it's for you, if you absolutely hate everything to do with it, you're not wrong. It's your opinion. It is a bit sad that you won't see the good side of it, but that for me was a big, big thing. And then everything that's happened with the bloodline. Yeah, but it feels like there was a gap for me personally between that there was, and... There was a gap. There was a gap, but the but the gap doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things because of how impactful his role has been with the bloodline and just how over he's gotten. Yeah. We've seen how over he... And again, you well, remember, this has all happened in the Triple H bit. Triple H has taken over now and, and Sammy's really kicked off in this era. Triple H obviously has always seen something in Sami Zayn. Look at Sami Zayn in NXT. Yeah. He's... he's that guy is is a he's a baby face man, and it's it's gonna it's gonna really kick off I think next year for him. But this year, for me personally, I think was Sami Zayn's year. So for me, he was man of the year. That's fine. But I, I just wish I don't run in the into the ground that you see bits. <laughs> man, you just ain't Usi. No, it's just it's that it, it's it's got I've just got a feeling like if they repeat stuff over and over and over again then it won't be the same every time they say it. But the crowd are chanting it. Yeah. Who was it? I think it might have been Wardlow against Brian Cage. <laughs> yeah. And they were chanting, you're not Usy. Man, you got to love that. It's like, it's the hostile, if it makes its way into other companies, it's that hostile takeover from the crowd. But like, it's done in like, it's just, a, it's a nice way. Mm. It's a nice, that's a nice forbidden door, right? You know? It's not hurting anybody. It's just it's good. I like things getting over. I'm not right for being over. I just don't want it to be like oversaturated. Like, nah, man. Sammy won't let that happen. Sammy's a pro. You got to remember, he's been doing this for a long, long, long Very time. Very long time. Man of the year. What about Ash? Woman of the year. 